What's a joke that's so stupid it's funny? Say what you want about deaf people. A plateau is the highest form of flattery. Guy walks up to the widow at her husband's funeral and says may I just say one word? Sure she replies. Plethora the widow says thanks. That means a lot. What do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? Hey, guess what? What? Good guess. Three guys are walking through the woods when they find a lamp. One of them picks it up, rubs it, and out pops a genie. It booms you have finally freed me after all these years, so I'll grant each one of you three wishes. The first guy immediately blurts out I want a billion dollars. Poof, he's holding a printout that shows his account balance is now in fact 1,003,50. The second man thinks for a bit, then says I want to be the richest man alive. Poof, he's holding papers showing his net worth is now well over 300 billion. The third guy thinks even longer about his wish, then says I want my left arm to rotate clockwise for the rest of my life. Poof, his arm starts rotating. The genie tells them it's time for their second wish. The first guy says, I want to be married to the most beautiful woman on earth. Poof, a stunning beauty wraps herself around his arm. The second guy says I want to be good looking and charismatic, so I can have every girl I want. Poof, his looks change, and the first guy's wife immediately starts flirting with him. The third guy says I want my right arm to rotate counterclockwise until I die. Poof, now both his arms are rotating in opposite directions. The genie tells them to think very carefully about their third wish. The first guy does, and after a while says I never want to become sick or injured, I want to stay healthy until I die. Poof, his complexion improves, his acne is gone, and his knees don't bother him anymore. The second guy says I never want to grow old, I want to stay 29 forever. Poof, he looks younger already. The third guy smiles triumphantly, and says my last wish is for my head to nod back and forth. Poof, he's now nodding his head and still flailing his arms around. The genie wishes them good luck, disappears, and the men soon go their separate ways. Many years later they meet again and chat about how things have been going. The first guy is ecstatic, I've invested the money and multiplied it many times over, so me and my family will be among the richest of the rich pretty much forever. My wife is a freak in the sheets and I've never gotten so much as a cold in all these years. The second guy smiles and says well, I built charities worldwide with a fraction of my wealth. I'm still the richest guy alive and also revered for my good deeds. I haven't aged a day since we last met, and yes, your wife is pretty wild in bed. The third guy walks in, flailing his arms around and nodding his head and says, guys, I think I fucked up. A blonde and a lawyer are seated next to each other on a flight from Los Angeles to New York. The lawyer asks if she would like to play a fun game. The blonde, tired, just wants to take a nap, so she politely declines and rolls over to the window to catch a few winks. The lawyer persists and explains that the game is easy and a lot of fun. He says, I ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer, you pay me $5, and vice versa. Again. She declines and tries to get some sleep. The lawyer, now agitated, says, Okay, if you don't know the answer, you pay me $5, and if I don't know the answer, I will pay you $500. This catches the blonde's attention, and, figuring there will be no end to this torment, agrees to the game. The lawyer asks the first question, What's the distance from the earth to the moon? The blonde doesn't say a word, reaches into her purse pulls out a $5 bill and hands it to the lawyer. Okay, says the lawyer, your turn. She asks, what goes up a hill with three legs and comes down with four legs? The lawyer, puzzled, takes out his laptop computer and searches all his references, no answer. He taps into the airphone with his modem and searches the internet and the library of Congress, no answer. Frustrated, he sends emails to all his friends and coworkers, but to no avail. After an hour, he wakes the blonde and hands her $500. The blonde thanks him and turns back to get some more sleep. The lawyer, who is more than a little miffed, stirs the blonde and asks, well, what's the answer? Without a word, the blonde reaches into her purse, hands the lawyer $5, and goes back to sleep. I have many jokes about unemployed people. Sadly none of them work. Why can't hedgehogs just share the hedge? They say smoking kills but it cures salmon. 
What was E point T short for? Because he had little legs. Why did Deadwood Wood would have so many back quote D's in his main? What did one nut say when it was chasing the other nut? Imakashu. What do we want? Airplane noises. When do we want them? Nia. Two fish are in a tank. One looks at the other and says, you man the gun, I'll drive. What's red and bad for your teeth? A brick edit. If anyone's not sure what is brown and sticky, this thread is for you. Why do scuba divers jump backwards out of the boat? Because if they jumped forward, they'd still be in the boat. Q. What's a pirate's favorite letter? Wait for them to say R R R R R R. A. Yeah. G'd think so. But me first love be the C. Edit. Wow. Glad so many people enjoy this dumb joke as much as I do. Thanks for the golden platinum. What do you call a magic dog? A labracadabrada. A Mexican magician told his audience he was going to vanish on the count of three. He counted, you know, dos, and disappeared without a trez. Courtesy of my daughter what do you call a broken can opener? A can't opener. A priest, a rabbi and a whale walk into a bar. The priest walks up to the bartender and says, since I believe that our lord and savior has appeared on this earth as Jesus Christ, I shall drink sacramental wine. The rabbi walks up to the bartender and says, since I do not believe our lord and savior has appeared on this earth, and I'm still waiting for him, I shall drink Manishuit's wine. The whale walks up to the bartender and says, ee ee ee. Edit. Thanks much for the gold and silver. I hope this joke gets told many times over. My grandpa told this to me, and I've never been told it again by anybody, although I know other people have to know it. You can't run through a campsite. You can only run, because it's past tense. Two cows are standing in a field. The first cow says to the second have you heard about this mad cow disease? It makes cows go crazy, and then they die. The second cow replies good thing I back quote him a helicopter. I saw a nice stereo on Craigslist for one dollar. Seller says the volume is stuck on back quote high I couldn't turn it down. A husband and wife were driving through Louisiana. As they approached Natchitoches, they started arguing about the pronunciation of the town. They argued back and forth, then they stopped for lunch. At the counter, the husband asked the blonde waitress, before we order, could you please settle an argument for us? Would you please pronounce where we are very slowly? She leaned over the counter and said, Bergerkying. What did Stevie Wonder say to the seagull? I can't see sit. Two whales are drunk at a bar. One whale says, Make long whale cooing noises until everyone around you is pretty uncomfortable. Like I'm not sitting you. At least one to two full minutes of weird off pit whale noises. The other whale says. Do a deep inhale, like you're about to make more weird whale noises, and so that everyone around you almost gets pissed, and unfriends you on Facebook. Go home. Frank. You're drunk. A man walked into a zoo. There was one dog. It was a sheety zedu. I used to be good at telling jokes, but now I just punch up the fat line. Why'd the old man fall down the well? Because he couldn't see that well. To be frank, I'd have to change my name. Gotta go with a Hedberg classic. My fake plant died because I forgot to pretend to water it. It's just so silly. I've used that so many times. If someone asks me if I'm down slash sad or something, and it's only ever produced confusion. Edit since we are posting all Mitchell Day, I'm totally disappointed that the Dufferins get no mention. When you go to a restaurant and it's busy, they start a waiting list. They call out names. They say, Dufferin, party of two. Dufferin, party of two. And if no one answers they'll say their name again. Dufferin, party of two. Dufferin, party of two. But then if no one answers, they just go right on to the next name. Bush. Party of three. Yeah, but what happened to the Dufferins? No one seems to give a shit. Who can eat at a time like this? People are missing. My dad called me the other day, just to tell me this joke. A frog walks into a bank, and approaches the teller. He sees the teller's name tag read Paddy Black, and says I'd like to take out a loan, Mrs. Black. Certainly, says the teller, how much would that be for? One million dollars, replies the frog. Don't worry, it's okay, I know the manager. The teller is understandably taken aback by this, and asks if the frog has any collateral to cover this. 
As a matter of fact, I do. Says the frog, and he reaches into his pocket and hands over a tiny ceramic elephant. What? Says the teller, this is garbage. I can't take this. Well, take it up with my father then. The frog retorts. Oh yeah, and who might that be? The teller is quickly getting more and more annoyed at the frog. Why, it's Keith Richards. The frog is waiting impatiently, tapping his toe on the ground. Now, can I have that loan or not? Wait right here the teller says, as she storms into the back room, looking for her manager. There's a frog out there who claims to know you, and wants a million dollar loan. He claims his father has Keith Richards. He even gave me this as collateral, she says, holding up the elephant. I mean, what even is this? The manager takes a look at the elephant and replies it's a knickknack. Paddy Black, give the frog a loan. His old man's a rolling stone. 